The supraspinatus muscle originates on the supraspinous fossa and inserts on the greater tubercle of the humerus. The actions are to abduct and to stabilize the joint. The nerve is the suprascapular nerve. So to test the strength of the supraspinatus muscle, we're going to go ahead and have the patient abduct her arms and bring them all the way up as far as she can. And as you can see, she can. So we can give her a 3 out of 5 strength, which means she can move the joint against gravity. One supraspinatus manual muscle testing is known as the empty cam test. That is used to test strength, integrity, and overall function independent of the deltoid because the deltoid also does shoulder abduction. So what we're going to have here is the patient is going to abduct 90 degrees as so and we're going to also have the patient uh, do 30 degrees of scaption. What's next is the patient's going to internally rotate the hand which pretty much means bring the thumbs down and that is because we want to isolate the supraspinatus muscle and examine it properly. So what we're going to do now is place one hand on the GH joint and the other one is going to be just distal to the ulna here and then we're going to apply downward pressure. If the patient can handle moderate pressure then it would be a great 4 out of 5 for strength. If the patient can handle maximal pressure downward then that would be a great 5. If there was pain or weakness from the empty can test, that would pretty much mean that it is a positive test. So it could either be an impingement or an actual rotator cuff muscle dysfunction. So to determine or distinguish the difference, we would have to perform the next special test, which would be called the full can test. So it's the same principle where we would have the patient uh, shoulder, do shoulder abduction, 9 degrees of that, and then 30 degrees of scaption. And this time we're going to keep the thumbs up and we're going to have one hand on the GH joint again and the other one distal to the radius. We're going to apply downward pressure there and just like that. And if there is a positive empty and if there's pain and weakness with this one, that's also a positive test. And that would mean that there's an actual rotator cuff muscle dysfunction. If it's a positive empty can test and a negative full can test, that means that it has to be an impingement not related to the muscle function.